Hi guys, happy Friday. Dr. Melissa Saunders here. I just wanted to give you a final wrap up on my dry fast yesterday. Uh, again, this is not where you would first start with fasting if you haven't done it already. But for those of you who have been fasting for a while, it's a great way to get the benefits of a long fast in a short amount of time. Yesterday was my first fast, dry fast. I went 12 hours dry and about 24 complete fasting, meaning no food for 24, no liquids for 12. I definitely got a little bit of a headache, felt a little fatigued, um, but what I do know to be true is that basically whatever you're feeling during your fast is what you're clearing out. So I had been feeling a little bit cloudy, a little bit draggy for me over the past couple weeks and it's why I wanted to jump right into a dry fast. Today I feel amazing. So I knew that last night and I was kind of hanging on to that when I had some of those deeper headache, sleepy symptoms. Um, going forward for you guys that are interested in doing the ketosis and the fasting challenges that we'll be working on in the next few weeks, your homework for this weekend, download the Chronometer app, I like Chrono Gold, and start to track your carbs. This will give you a good idea of where you're starting. Um, a lot of people are taking in way more carbs than they realize, close to 100. Uh, when you're getting into a ketosis state, you want to be around 20 to 30. I'd want you guys at least under 50 before you jump into a fast. Again, this will help you feel better on the fast and it'll, it'll make you way more successful. So that's your homework for this weekend. I'll post either some videos, articles, things like that to get you started as well. And we will chat soon. Have a great weekend.